Well, what an exciting 48-hour period away Tarnas Racing fans. Commencing Friday night with the Newcastle Mile, backed up the next day, Saturday night with the Chariots of Fire in a very strong eight-event support program backing up that particular event. And also Terrain on Saturday night with the running of the Terrain Cup. So wonderful racing over that 48-hour period. We're going to commence the selections at Club and Angle on Saturday night. In the first event, I like the uh, prospects of here of He's a Son of a Gun. I tipped this particular star Victorian last week. He led probably a shade disappointing in running fourth. Did set very slow sectionals during the middle stage, and that probably cost him the race. A bit more solid tempo. Just may have had his rivals off the bit and chasing a little bit harder. I think this time around, gate one, he's got a lovely run. He's a son of a gun. I think he will be collecting the cash. Over to race two, the brilliant Mary Antonia. She's fitter for one run back from a spell. That was an eye-catching fourth here last week behind Stylish Memphis. Strips fitter. I think she'll be certainly very hard to beat Antonia going around in the second event. Over to race five, one of the big events on the car, the Heat of the Oaks, and here, just remember me, well, she has been absolutely sensational. Unbeaten in three runs since coming over from New Zealand for Crandall Getty. I think she'll be the one to beat and cement her place as the one to beat in the Oaks itself in a couple of weeks' time. Then over to race seven, the Chariots of Fire, the heavyweight championship for the four-year-olds, and I'm sticking with Krug. He's nicely drawn. Many thought he may have been a shade disappointing here last week when he had every chance in front and was run down by Rock and Roll Do, who did all the power work. But according to Jack Trainer, that Krug just switched off at a vital stage of that particular event. And then when Rock and Roll Do came up and started to challenge him, wanted to pick up and race again. So I think Krug is also will strip a little bit fitter for that run. So I'm going to stick with Krug. Over Better Eclipse, I thought we had a cracking race here last week. He's drawn nicely in gate one. I think he's going to get a very comfortable run. And Better Eclipse, I'd be throwing in, particularly when you're taking your exotics. Of course, the other dangers, Rock and Roll Do, Luke McCarthy was full of praise for the Michael Stanley trained performer and Rock and Roll Do, despite drawing the outside gate, I think will be right in the finish and Bondi Lockdown, when he's going great guns for Aaron Dunn, just keeps winning Bondi Lockdown, he never knows when he's beaten. He also has a tough draw, but he will more certainly make his own luck and he'll be right in the finish when the uh, whips are cracking. Over to on Saturday night, commencing the selections here in race six with Kia and Jackie. Back from a spell, has been trolling well and draws nicely. In the cup itself, I'm sticking with Like a Wildfire. Only a small field, but certainly a very strong field. And Like a Wildfire, certainly one of the many talented performers for Emma Stewart. She holds a very strong hand in the race, but I think Like a Wildfire is the one to beat. Well, over to the final event, race eight, and Dean Braun, he has Holy Basil resuming a very consistent performer. He knows where the winning post is, and once again, he's another one that has been trialling in very good fashion, so I'll be sticking with Holy Basil. So then my thoughts are Club and Angle and Tarang on Saturday night. Looking at Newcastle in race two, unfazed, and also in race three, Stravinsky, I think they're certainly worth a gamble. Well, in the Newcastle mile, staying with Expensive Ego. Just had that little bit of a setback, but it has been freshened. I think Expensive Ego will take a power of beating in the Newcastle mile. Of course, Bonsol Benjamin, the Inter-Dominion winner, will certainly be there when the whips are cracking, as will his stable mate, Majestic Cruz. He made a six from nine here at Club and Angle last week, a very impressive first up win, and also a triple eight for Jess Tubbs and Greg Sugar. So virtually an Inter-Dominion lineup going around in the Newcastle mile on Friday night. So my thoughts for those two big meetings across the 48-hour period. Until next time around, good punning.